And your first and last name? Tad, T-A-D, as in domination. Monday and I could have slept like five more hours it's about 90 something degrees out right now here in Phoenix man I, I just feel so strange you saw that apple pie we had yesterday I think was the apple pie on the vlog Jake um, we had apple pie from Costco yesterday it's too early to remember that right now And it was glorious. So we came to the gym yesterday afternoon and I'm feeling that, like 100% I'm feeling that. So this will be an interesting workout. Mondays are now leg day. So we'll do some leg pressing, all kinds of good stuff. This will be fun. <laughs> Leg day one, we try to do two leg days a week. But today uh, we really gotta focus on better nutrition, um, more balance, gotta get back after it, man. You know, it's funny, I, it's been a month I think now. I'm not back in the group since Hawaii and I, I know I've said that several times, but I just haven't gotten back locked in like I was before we went on that trip. So I gotta get there. I'd love to lose five pounds this week. So I'm up about a pound right now. So I need to get back after it. But today is lots of meetings in the radio business. So let's get after it. Good morning, YouTube. We are here at our design job. Well, I'm here. Um, Monty is off at the radio show doing Monty things. So I'm going to show you uh, where we're at on this design. Um, as you can see, this is completely demoed out now. <clears throat> so this is going to be where the shower is. This is the wall of the shower. And then obviously that's the shower pan. And you can actually see the square, the lines here. You know, here and then there. That'll be the shower pan. And then all of this floor will get new uh, stone. Uh, I forget the actual material it is, but it's really nice. So that's the guest. But in the masters where... The real fun is, so we've got it all demoed out here, and this is kind of where the options begin because this is the wall of the shower. You can see all the all, all the new piping, the new uh, um, you know water handle, uh, new piping for the shower head. So pretty clean. 
Um, this is all going to be a, a larger white tile with a, a gold backsplash. And, um, so this is basically what it looks like behind your shower. And then this is going to be a freestanding tub. You can see the piping over here, which is going to actually is going to get routed back over here and come over the top of the tub. So that'll be good when it's done. Um, you can see where the old tub used to sit. The new tub should take up most of that space, which will be nice. It's a better look in my opinion. So there's that. Um, you know, of course, just got to finish the flooring. So there you have it. That's kind of the update. We're waiting to get the tile and the materials. So, nothing too crazy happening. So with that said, turn you around here. Um, we just start working on the radio. Need to get some advertisers and um, that's pretty much the grind right now. It's still like 120 out, so that's Arizona for you. But uh, let's go back to the radio station see what's going on there. So we're back at the station, um, just working on making calls and advertising and things like that so you can kind of see the setup. Got my trusty iPhone, trusty iPad, empty oh yeah one bar wrapper, and the notepad with all the people in the call. Yes, that sounds amazing. Uh, but uh, Jacob, I'm sure you're wondering what's the catch to it. Actually, that is not my name. My name is Jakob. I'm sorry? My name is Jakob, not Jacob. Uh, okay, it's Jakob. Yes? Right, okay. Now Jakob, I'm sure you're wondering what's the catch to it, right? Yes, I am. I am a very single entrepreneur in this great world of ours. I am ready to mingle on your cruise. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. It's okay. Go ahead. You're, you're ready for what? I'm ready to mingle in the Caribbean. Single and mingle. <laughs> Okay, bye. What? what? She wasn't having it this time. All right, so right now we are at Chase Field, kind of in the guts of the stadium. We're gonna take you out to the field. We're gonna show you the dugout. We're gonna show you what it's like to actually walk on a Major League Baseball field in front of all the googly-eyed people who are like, wow, who are these guys with the cool media passes and the camera? Yeah, yeah, see this guy? Best guy around. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna show you a couple of the little things that most people don't know about. So let's go. What's up, people? Just at uh, Chase Field, on the field, because we're badasses. We have media press passes, so you know we get to stand on the field and look at all the cute faces in the crowd. Um, yeah, so we're here. We're covering the D-backs. It's kind of the last, our last event of the day. As usual, this is the time when I go through my hangry, I hate life phase of the day. Um, ballpark food isn't exactly, uh, how shall we say, macro friendly. So we'll figure it out. Lately, I feel like I'm always hungry. Not really sure why. Had had Chick Fil A today. That was wonderful. But uh, yeah, so. Right now, this is before the game. They're just kind of cleaning up the field and things like that. But as you can see, this is all the people behind us. It's kind of funny the first time you get onto the field because you're like, "Whoa, all these people are looking at you," and you're not you're not really like you're not really expecting it. But then you just realize, well, they want to be you, and well, everybody ain't able. So I guess that's where. Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Everybody ain't able, right? Everybody ain't able. So so yeah. 
Um, it is interesting, though. That's a lot of what happens before the game. A lot of people don't get to see, you know, that they have all these covers on the field for batting practice. and. Yeah, I mean, basically, they cover the, like, so you can see, like, the grass over here. They cover all of this during batting practice so it doesn't get damaged because all the coaches stand behind the batting cage and watch their guys hit and everything like that. And then you can also kind of see over here they're rolling some of it up. Um, basically, they're just protecting all the grass in the walking common areas because they don't want it to get torqued. So you can kind of see over here how there's like a rough patch right there. They're trying to avoid that. The problem is when you live in the desert, it's like 125 every day. Grass doesn't really grow too well. So um, the roof here is retractable. Um, it's closed 90% of the time in the summer just because it's too hot to really function. So um, as you can tell, it's closed today, but in like the first month of the season it's open a lot at night so it's a pretty nice park when the roof is open but it's a rarity that it's open so it's a pretty cool experience to be able to come into a major league dugout like this um, you know these are when they always say someone's coming in from the bullpen this is the phone they use to talk to them they have little tv screens right around this corner here so they can physically see how the guy's doing warming up um, so that's that's the Diamondbacks bullpen, that's the opposition's bullpen. So that's pretty cool. But like the little details that you just don't get to see if you're not in this business are like their, their bat knobs. So like each individual guy has different tape on their bat. Um, same stickers if you're, see these are pitcher bats. So they just put 99 on the bottom of them. But like every guy's got his own box here. So same for the helmets and their batting gloves and things like that. So that's pretty cool. Here are the infamous Gatorade jugs that you always hear about guys destroying. Um, this is actually a guy's uh, catching glove. Um, I would love to pick it up and touch it, but it's not ours and we're not allowed to do that. So, but yeah, you got your Gatorade, all kinds of towels everywhere. So it's just pretty cool. Like you don't get to see how often you get to stand in a major league dugout for free essentially. So that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, right here on these steps are where the guys stand just to watch the game. So, I mean, you're right here just checking out the game. So, it's cool because the dugout's like maybe, maybe 40 yards from like the pitching mound and where they play and everything like that. So, you just don't get to see this view of the game very often as a fan, you know. So, that's kind of where we get, you know, we get that unique content and the ability to show you guys kind of behind the scenes. So. So this is basically, the field is right here behind us, the entrance to the dugout where we just work. So this is kind of just like a, I don't even know what I would call it, just sort of like a stretching, not, stretching kind of like if private you're, area. If you're a catcher, like you can see all this catching equipment right here. So some guys can catch and they can play other positions. So like there's a guy tonight um, who's playing, I think he's playing second base, but he also needs to be ready to be the backup catcher. So. You just put your gear right here. If he needs to go and catch, he has it available to him right here. Another cool thing that a lot of people don't know about is that the athletes don't clean their own shoes. So this right here is what they call the clubby shoe cleaning station. Um, you can see all these brushes and scrubbing bubbles. And essentially what they do is they literally spray the cleat with scrubbing bubbles and they just use these brushes and get all the dirt off and things like that. Now this is the exclusive content right here. Okay, right here where the magic happens. <laughs> hey, you know, just saying. <laughs> and then batting cages up here. There you go. Batting cages, what are they doing there during the game, Jake? So, a lot of guys, you'll hear the term when you watch a baseball game, pinch hitting. A guy who comes in who didn't start the game, he comes in for one at bat during the game. So the coach will tell him the inning before, hey, you know, I'm gonna have you hit against this particular pitcher. Here's what the pitcher throws, here's his stats, things like that. So they'll go into that cage that's maybe, you know, like 100 feet from the dugout in the field, and they'll hit like 20 or 30 balls and just kind of get warmed up, get loose, get their mind right, so that they can be in a better position for success. So there's a lot of batting cages like that, or they're in most major league ballparks. Um, Chase Field has a pretty nice setup with how close it is to the dugout. So that's kind of behind the scenes. Hey, hope you enjoyed your look behind uh, the scenes at Chase Field. Uh, we definitely enjoyed showing it to you, and we uh, definitely understand how lucky we are to work in radio and work in the media, and that's kind of why we want to share it with you. You know, we're passionate sports fans doing what we do, and 
Um, that's why I say I encourage you to listen to the radio show, 1580thefanatic.com. Or you can get the app on your phone as well. You know, a lot of most people nowadays are, we're, we live on our phones, so you can get it in the app store. It's free. All you got to do is turn the app on and it starts playing. Super easy. Super easy. So tomorrow we'll get you an update on the uh, bathroom renovations. We'll again be back here at Chase Field uh, for game two of the Cardinals because the Diamondbacks are only a game and a half out of first, bay, uh, first place, so they're pretty hot right now. So we'll be back here tomorrow. So we've got radio, we've got selling radio, we've got real estate, we've got <laughs> baseball. we got a lot going on. Uh, make sure you hit thumbs up and like. And Jake? Hasta la see ya, baby. Hey.